Connecting headless CMSs has never been easier. In this talk, Lucas from View Storefront is going to take you through everything that you might want to know on how to connect that one CMS that you want to use to View Storefront. And you know what? He did that with me recently because I was connecting a CMS for my own talk for this summit. And you know what? This guy really knows his stuff and is really good in explaining. So. Feel free to ask a bunch of questions in the chat so we can take those on for the Q&A. Have fun. Hi guys, my name is Lucas and I'm a View Starfront core team member. I am also responsible for our CMS department for our CMS's integration. So at this talk, I would like to share with you this concept on how we are building the CMS integration and how we are connecting the CMSs with the view storefront. Yeah, sit comfortable and enjoy the talk. We are just starting the second day of a view storefront summit. Okay, probably in a previous day, you heard a lot about headless, yeah? Headless commerce, headless search and headless payment. So yeah, these, are, these platforms are headless. So what does it mean for us? Because yeah, we are actually bodiless. So this is mean that we actually uh, don't have a body. So we are the, the head, of course, yeah? But to be a, like a full organism, we need the body and the neck. So in this case, our integration with the CMS will be the neck. In this talk, I would like to cover this body that will be our CMSs, of course, yeah? So also... Uh, we have uh, headless CMSs that you can connect with the with your with your frontend. In this talk and in this example, I would like to cover our integrations with several uh, CMSs. But actually, we are not going to talk about the integrations. Uh, the integrations of the par particular CMSs that you can see right now on the screen, yeah. Because after me, the guys from Storyblock, Appliance, ContentStack, Contentful, and Lexa CMS will cover all the features and amenities that they have in their entire systems, in the entire CMSs. So right now, I would like to show you how we are building the integration with our CMSs, but not pointing any, any kind of CMS. So, so just the introduction on how an integration with the View Storefront are built. So let's jump to how we are building this integration. So as you can see here, some simple free ingredients. So th there is a CMS, there is a, our integration, and there is a view storefront. In this talk, I will cover how we are connecting these three parts, yeah? Connection between CMS, our integration, and the final application in the view storefront. So let's start from the CMS. In headless CMS, you, your content is built on top of the content type. So as you can see here on the screen, we can create super simple content type that will be, in this example, the banner that is built on top of fields. This is the regular data fields, the text fields, on top of which we can build the, the content. So you can treat this content type as a component. And this component will be corresponding with the component in your application. You can also build wrappers for these components. And this wrapper will be also a content type, but will, it will contain the components, the content types for the page, in example. And you can build, the, build this new page from content types, from components that you are creating in the CMS. Okay, so let's jump to the content creation. As you can see here, uh, we can build the page. Of course, the page is something like a wrapper for the components, and we can pack this page with components. In this example, you can see that we have a banner. So we just created the content type for the banner, and right now we can add this banner to our page, which is the final content. Also, we can fill this banner with data, uh, data on top of these fields that we've created just before. And of course, as you can see here, this page uh, has also the URL. And on top of this URL, we will be recognizing our pages from CMS in our application, but about this in a couple of seconds. So yeah, this is super simple schema. And as a final, we will get the JSON. And this JSON will be the data that you will receive the, from the CMS. We can call that this JSON will be ugly because you know this JSON will be packed with some data 
uh, that will cover your components and the data that will cover content from the CMS, but also will be packed with some kind of the metadata and the additional data from the CMS that in most cases is not useful for us. So at some point, we need to do something with this with this JSON and this ugly JSON, yeah? So yeah, let's move this JSON to the integration. Our integration with the view storefront. Our integration is built on top of the module, Nuxt.js module, and Nuxt is, a, as you probably know, the framework for the Vue.js. And inside this module, we are building the regular Legorel Composable. So as you can see here on the slide, this Composable is built on top of our public API. So we are reaching for our factory function from view store for car, and we are building this structure that is common for all of our composables. So we have this search, content, loading, and arrow handling for this composable. And we are passing this composable through this next module. What is also worth mentioning that in this composable, we are fetching this ugly JSON and we are getting rid of this ugly construction. So we are at some point filter, filtering this data and preparing for usage in your application to pass this data to your application. We are also providing some kind of helpers that will be needed to build components along with the application on top of the view storefront, yeah? So one of these helpers is this extract components, which actually prepare this special structure for your component, for your view components, which is, will be the component name and props that you will pass from the CMS. Also, we are providing render content component, but about it in a, in a couple of seconds. So right now, we are moving to the view storefront as the application, you know, to this final, final piece of this integration. And actually, the place where we are connecting the CMS and the integration and the application that is built on top of the view storefront, yeah? So this application is, of course, Next view application. And in this application, in similar way that we are receiving data from the commerce platform, we will be receiving data from the content platform, from our CMS, yeah? So we know that this is a view, this is a Next view application. And to register our integration with our application, uh, and because it's Next module, we need to register regular Next module. So we are adding the uh, module to, uh, to the Next config. Also, we are providing some kind of config for, the, for our middleware config because our CMS integration lives on top of our middleware. You need to provide some kind of special config for the CMS, which in most cases will be something like token, space, or environment. And moving forward, we can build our first page that will receive the data from the CMS. And as you probably know, Nux provides these dynamic pages that on top of which we can build Dynamics routes. So previously, I showed you that we have this use content composable and the schema from this composable that we are using the search method and the content itself. Jumping forward, we are using the search to provide the URL of our page. In our example, there was a home page. This will be a dynamic param that we can provide from our route and we can uh, provide this to search page from the CMS. Now, when we invoke this search method, we can receive the data from the CMS. And this data will appear on top of this content value. So th this content will be passed to the render content component. Remember, I have mentioned this component a couple minutes ago, and right now we are jumping to it. So this render content component is also, pro is also provided from our integration. So this render content component received this ugly JSON, this ugly content as a prop, as a content prop. And on top of this data, we will, we will render the component from our CMS. So when you are providing the component as an array from the CMS, and this array will be packed with the components, with a, with a data for the components, with the schema for the components, you will need to create some kind of special structure to render this component. And this structure will be, will be built with this extra component handler that you are receiving from our integration for the CMS integration. And you can imagine that this structure will look something like this. So you have content and this, in this content, you will get this components. This will be a component for banner, accordion, 
editorial and hero, for example. And on top of this component, our page from the CMS will be built. As a final, you can imagine that this render content component will provide this structure of a view components. And this will be a banner, accordion, editorial, and hero. Okay, do you remember this content type that we are creating in the CMS? It is corresponding with our component in the view. So as you can see here on the slide, the content type fields are corresponding with the properties in our component, in our view legware component. So we are passing those fields the, as, a, as a content to our component. And in the components, those fields filling the properties with data. And right now we can imagine this page from the CMS packed with components on top of which this page is built, of course, yeah? Remember the structure from this slide? Yeah, so this is actually a similar construction uh, that we have here in our CMS and in, in, in our page. So, of course, this structure will be corresponding with the structure that we will going to build in our view application. As you can see here, we have this URL field for home page. And of course, this value will be handled by our ID, dynamic ID page. Yeah, so it will be recognized from the root as a param. And we can provide that many, uh, that many URLs and of course, that many pages as we want. So every new page with every new URL will be recognized as a new. And as long as we have this dynamic root, dynamic page for the dynamic roots, we don't need to build another pages from the CMS, yeah? So we just can build page in the CMS and it will be automatically recognized in our application. Moving forward, these components will be recognized uh, by our render content component. So remember, we will receive this structure from the CMS and this structure will be array of components, yeah? Or, or, or objects with components, yeah? We will be passing the structure to the render component and this render component will build the structure of components in our application. You will probably need to register those components globally. And if you do this, you are probably free to go to build and render that many pages and that many components as you want. So yeah, this is it. And right now we can summarize at some point how we are building the content from headless CMS and the view storefront. So Imagine that our CMS integration and view storefront parts is something like create, connect, and present. You can create your content in particular CMS, pass this content to our integration. Our integration handles this content, prepares special structure for this content, and pass this special structure to our final application. And along with this render components and this render pages, we can, of course, build this content on top of the components that we are receiving actually from the CMS and we are rendering along with the regular view components in our application. Right now we have integration with those CMSs and integration with uh, Storyblock is right now actually our open source integration, our public integration. So you can grab and use it for your application right away. The integration with employees, content stack and content full are part of our enterprise packet. So if you want to use it, you need to contact with our sales team, of course. Of also, we have this integration with Lexa CMS, which is built by our partner, of course, Lexa CMS. So this build and this integration is also super awesome and also built on top of this common pattern that we are providing from our public API that is built on this common pattern of uh, use content composable and also you can use it with your application and also it's public. And we are not stopping. We are working right now on the integration with Blurmage and Magnolia. So stay tuned for the further information about this integration because they will appear very, very soon. Okay, so I was not talking about particular CMSs because after me, you will be able to hear about those CMSs and their feature and amenities from guys from Storyblock, Compliance, Content Stack, Content Fund, and Lexa CMS, of course. So yeah, stay with us to hear about their super features. I am pretty sure that you will be pleased with this super content that is right away. So guys, if you want to talk about this integration or even participate with building it, 
So please don't hesitate and touch me on Twitter on or on our Discord. I am here to help you and to talk with you about it. Thanks, guys. See ya.